Happy Mother's Day, ladies. <laughs> Getting the canoe ready. Tomorrow happens to be opening day for fishing. And of course, this is the weekend, Sunday, Mother's Day. And <laughs> I'm off this weekend, go figure. Anyways, getting everything set, getting the canoe all strapped on. The kayak carrier's not in yet. It won't be in for another two weeks, it looks like. So until then, I'll be just using the canoe, which is fun. That's right, that's exactly what I wanted to do anyway. Anyways, I want to tell you all happy Mother's Day. As you can see, I'm about to fire up the old pit over there. I'm going to put on a brisket and some sausages. Went over and seen little mama, brought her a flower. <laughs> You know you got to do that so that's what i'm pretty much going to be doing cleaning out the camper today and uh have a nice little fire nice meal on mother's day getting ready for opening day and uh i'm gonna stay night in camper in camp right here got so much to do ain't got time to go out running all right let's get to it better cheddars we'll put them on later but I got them out here right now I want to get that sweet corn on there mm. let's get our brisket on there smoking it's already been seasoned and everything all we gotta do is been injected just a little one a little piece of one let's get a good bark on that yeah that's a good oh that's not good mm. Get that going. Nothing complicated for the tie down. It's a simple four point tie down here to the rack, to the rack. And then I already got the front all tied up. Let's get this tied down. This one's gonna have to wash it. Yeah, let's get the bed done. Well, here's a mouse. Let's go through it. Clean it up.
Housekeeping done. Let's take a peek on our fire. Oh, yeah, good. Still got a good hour, two hours ago. Oh yeah, I'm about to pull that brisket off there. Wrap it up. I'm gonna put some of these right here on there. This is pecans.com, that's where you go. This is candy jalapenos. These things are absolutely fantastic. You know, I'll turn you all on to good stuff. That's it right there. I'm gonna put some of that juice in there, a little bit of water. And uh, wrap that bad boy up, put it on there some more. These are really good. I eat the whole jar one time with the with a fork. I recommend it big time. Yeah, now that we've got everything wrapped up, let's get this thing just a rocking. Yeah, go to that pecans.com and get these candy tail peanuts here. Oh, they're fantastic. They also have pecans. You know, it's all Texas products and uh, pecans are chocolate covered or maple covered, sugary. Oh, they're just so good. I got some for the bear. Her birthday was just the other day. Part of the reason why I'm not out. Mother's Day slash birthday. So we're here and I had to get a lot of stuff done around here anyway. But yeah, try these out, guys. Oh, they're wonderful. Let's crank this bad boy up and get it nice and hot. Oh yeah, let's get her going. So nice to see all the green come back in it. And this only happened over the last couple of days. We finally got some warm temperatures. Even my very, very old apple tree coming back. She's so old. <laughs> Only produces once every other year. You know the rule. No hunting. You none of the birdies alone. They're cute. <laughs> Little bugger. Got a nice here birds come back, isn't it? I love that. Like I said, we didn't have no green. And then uh, we had some uh, 80 degree temps, a few days, three, four days, and uh, all of a sudden, boom, everything just lit right back up. I love that. I was picking up the yard a little bit and when I got done cleaning up the camper. So we'll have a little fire a little bit later. But I love the sound of the birds. So glad they're back. Yeah, <laughs> love that, don't we? Well, as you can see, Got the tent and everything loaded up. We're all set. All we gotta do is get some time to camp. Everything for my summer gear's in there now. And because I did the four point, I can still shut everything. That's always nice. I still have access. Love it. Oh, time for the finished product. And a ice cold cruise light. <laughs> That's the good stuff. All right. Let's give this a shot. Mm. Mm. That's good stuff, guys. Mmm. Mmm. You can see that beautiful ring, smoke ring on there. Oh, told y'all. Good stuff. I'm gonna wipe it out.
lot darker out here than it appears. I got cool. I had to wear cold. Quite chilly. It's supposed to get down in the 30s tonight. Both 30s. Looks like the bear had too much barbecue before she wanted to go for a ride, eh? <laughs> Coyotes are back. I might have missed the howling. We'll see if they do it again. Cows are back. We're howling like crazy a minute ago, but I couldn't get to the camera fast enough to turn it on to hear them. I think maybe I caught it in that last clip just a little bit. That's a big pack. They aren't very far from here. There's a swamp that runs down. It runs all along down there. And what they do is they get on that swamp and they run along. Sometimes they come up in here. I don't know if they're going to come up. They were close. They might come up in here, but that's all right. We're going to be in the camper tonight, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> they were howling pretty good. Hoping to catch them a little while later. We'll see. Seen something cool in the sky a little while ago. It was a bright light. And then all of a sudden, it just made a big bright flash, and poof, it was gone. That was pretty cool. Didn't catch that on camera, of course, because I don't have that kind of camera. Oh, this is what I like, just sitting here relaxing. Enjoying the fire. Listen to the animals. You can still hear that peepers there everywhere. Yes, sir. Beautiful. They're really chilly out here. Look at this spot. The bear's been studying for a big test. He's got like 70, 80 pages, 100 pages to go or something like that. I leave her alone when she does that stuff. She's got her BSN and everything else. She's got her Bachelor of Science in nursing. And she's got her Master's. Oh, crap. She could teach. Definitely could save your life, no doubt. But I'll leave her alone when she does that. I'd like to win out on camp today, but that's so much you can do. And it is a camp anyway. We're here at the camper. I used to think the last time I used it was last July. Yeah. Last July. The kids came out, Shannon. I guess John went out today this morning and uh, he got a couple of really nice, nice Lakers. Some salmon up there at uh, Lake Superior. I'll have her give me a couple pictures and I'll put them up. That was pretty awesome. So we all did something this weekend. And that's good. <sighs> I guess they're going to be quiet now, them old cats. They know I'm out here and I'm honored and they are. <laughs> mm. Beautiful.
It's gorgeous. <laughs> Loving it. Stars are bright tonight. Take a picture straight up. It seems to be the only way I can get that. Any pictures of the stars. I can't do it filming with this thing, but when I take a picture straight up, sometimes I get them. So I'll do that for you. In fact, I'll do that for you right now. Let's see if we can't uh, get a shot of these stars. Oh yeah, I got them. For some reason you can take a picture of them, but uh, it's only filming days. You can't film them. But you can get a picture of them. They are bright. As you saw, you will really see it from that picture. Uh, yeah. They are bright. I feel like I'm Steve, stealth camp from long distances, and not being stealth because they can see me. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic night just beautiful like I said I seen one I was just traveling through got bright Ooh, a big bright flash and it was gone I don't know if that was just satellite up way up and it was just reflecting off the Sun or what but it was pretty cool well, it was pretty cool let's say pick a few more sticks and keep this fire going and then we'll head her on in There you go, you hear him? Hear him? Told you I was trying to catch him there, here. Hear him? <laughs> they ain't too far away till I can hear him barking. Barking and howling. Ain't too far, them there cows. Yeah, they close. I like that. <laughs> like I was telling you, them old cows, they close. It's awesome. I love the sound of them. Nasty little buggers. I still love the sound of them. Oh, I love being outside. That's the thing. You know, <laughs> I worked in Texas, I remember. 12, 16 hour days. All the time. It was always about being outdoors. It was hot. Ooh, it was hot in Texas. <laughs> Refineries are always hot. Yeah, shot that fire right there. Look at that. Always hot. Burning hot. But I always spent 12 hour days or 16 hour days, depending on the jobs, outside. So for me, being outdoors was always, was always key. Didn't matter. The house is always something you look forward to at the end of the day. Get in there, get your plate of food, get your good hot shower, hit the rack, get up and do it again every day. It was old saying that the refineries never knew a rain day. <laughs> Didn't matter if it was your birthday, the weekends, whatever. Didn't matter. You worked. But it was always outside. I love that. So for me, being outdoors is, was always everything. Always. Always. Never understood people that love to be in the house. Man, that's that's no way to be. Outdoors is the it's the world. Even in winter I'd sit in a lawn chair outside. <laughs> no, it sounds silly, but 
I did. And it did. I love that song. You were just supposed to get up in the morning when the sun come up. Do what you had to do to survive. Go inside at night when the sun went down. Me? <laughs> Here for the last uh, many years, I work at night. I sleep. It's the hardest thing in the world for your body to do is work all night and then try to sleep all day. I can't do it. I sleep as much as I can and then I get up, do what I got to do, and then uh, take a little nap in the afternoon if I get one, and then uh, work all night. I try to balance it out. It's not easy. When I'm off, I like to get out and do something. Been through a lot lately. I still get out. Still do. Love it. <sighs> That's living. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> well, <laughs> burn the butt out. We're gonna take it on inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one thing I do love about this camper, probably the only thing I love, <laughs> was the mattress I bought for it. Got one of these gel mattresses for it. Let me show you here. Dig it on up. Oh. Now dig it deeper, I guess. Where is it at there? Bought one of these big foam gel mattresses for it. Right there. That thing. Just a gel. You let go, boom. I'd love to have that for my tent. The only thing is, you can't really put that in the tent. Can't get it small enough to pack it up. But uh, that's something that's right there. Soft. Ooh. And if anybody, y'all who have already, you know this already, that makes a huge difference. And I'm going to got a couple of my pillows. You think it's nice too? <laughs> Spared y'all the horror watching me get my birthday suit. <laughs> oh. oh, Mike Lindell, your pillow's the best there is. There ain't much better. <sighs> I paid almost $300 for that mat. It goes under this mattress. It goes on top here. You can show you that, Oh, man, I wish I could get one of them. Oh, the tent, but uh, I could never cram something into a bag. It would work. Turn this light off, but I don't know if we'd be able to. Ah, you wouldn't be able to see if I turn it off. <sighs> All right. I'm going to bed. Oh my God, I need it. Oh. It's been so hard lately on me. <sighs> what the hell's that stick? <clears throat> Good night, y'all. See you in the morning.
got as we want. Oh, beautiful day. Warm. Boy, it got cold last night. Oh, I'm just going to give me a couple of eggs. And that leftover sausage, smoked sausage from last night. Oh, that's good stuff. Yep, do that. And walk around a little bit outside. <clears throat> it got actually pretty cool in here. Even with the heater, I kicked the heater on. Still got pretty cool. It's camper, though. Yeah, just like being outside. These walls are paper thin anyway, right? Mm. Yeah, let's take this and get outside where we belong. Well, it sure got warm. It's almost 80 degrees already. Whew. I'm gonna have to go over to town, get my fishing license, pick up some energy drinks to work. All that good stuff. What a beautiful day. There isn't a cloud in the sky. Huh. That was a beautiful night. I got a lot done. Got everything cleaned out, cleaned up. Uh, wow. That was very relaxing. I love doing that. Get everything done, just done and over with. Springtime, we always do. Oh, beast. God, I love that thing. It's costing me a fortune, but I love it. We can go places other vehicles can't, and if it breaks, I can fix it for the most part. Uh, yeah. Finally, got it all done. Ah, got all summer gear packed up. She's ready to go check my lantern, so I did everything while I was cooking. Got everything cleaned up. Got all the summer gear taken out, looked at, put back. All the stuff you usually do when you're getting ready for a good season. Oh, yeah, what a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Warm. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed that one. Definitely different than what I'm used to doing. And I enjoy actually sleeping in the camper. Oh, I sleep so good in that thing. Now the little gnats are out. And your ears, nose, everything else. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It was beautiful. I love spending time with y'all. Thank you for watching. Love y'all. Be good.